Good day, this is Philip Swindle from the Decknumi podcast with yet another video tutorial. Today I'm answering a request by Janet Kennedy from about a week or so ago. She asked me to do a tutorial on how to combine different pieces of audio into one recording. Opening, music, interview, and close. And so today, Janet, you get your request. We're going to begin by first opening Audacity. I've already pre-set this to open. And we're going to first import our interview and all the other different things that we need to produce this thing. And, and I will tell you, Janet, typically I pre-produce my opening, my pre-packaged opening, before the interview, after the interview is done, but the part that plays before the interview. I pre-produce it. And so I'm going to, but I'm going to walk you through that and then that will help you understand what we do uh, with the rest of it. So first I'm going to import some audio. And so I go in Audacity and I go to File, Import, Audio. And you see there's a little command there and that's Shift Command I if you're on the Apple. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Shift Control I on the PC. But I use a Mac, so that's what I know. But I'm, I'm just using the clip so that I can do that. And so I go, I've got all this stuff in one folder. And so I'm going to open that folder. And I've already brought everything in and everything's ready to go. And so I have the opening segment that I pre-recorded from the, the interview that I cut out. And then I have this part that I pre-recorded, which was my voice. And so I want these two things. And then I'm going to use this music here, this Why Worry. Uh, and then I'm also going to use uh, this. Uh, where did it go? I'm going to use this intro vocal. And I thought I have one more piece of music. We'll put that in in the uh, in the package. But anyway, just to show you what we're doing, we're, we're bringing everything in and it's asking me, do I want to make a copy into a folder, a special folder for Audacity so that it knows how to use everything. So I'm, interview I'm bringing in all four of those pieces. Now, if you'll notice, some of them are in mono and some of them are in stereo. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make all these tracks mono because it's going to be played back in mono when you listen to it. And we're doing that so we can save space on our Libsyn account. So everything's in here now. This is uh, the, the Deknumi pre-produced intro. And I'm going to move it over here because I don't need it right now. So I'm going to move it way over here. And then this is uh, Brother Luter's comments that he made during the interview. And then this is what I recorded after the fact of his interview uh, to use as part of the introduction. And then this is the music that's going to play underneath all of that. And actually, I'm going to take this out right now because we don't need it the way we're going to do this today. But anyway, I've got everything in and now I need, I've already processed my mic on this track right here. And so everything's ready to go. I just got to put it together. And when you hear me play this, you're going to understand what I'm about to have to do. Now, if you notice, the music was really, really loud. I don't know if you could hear it all that well, because this is a unidirectional microphone and the speakers were behind it. But hopefully you heard that and you could hear how bad it sounded. And so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to play with the audio level of this uh, track right here, this music track. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to bring the gain down. Now, for those of you who use Audacity, yes, there is an auto duck feature. I don't like it for a, a couple of different reasons. And so I try not to use it. It's just a matter of preference. You can use the auto duck feature and maybe I'll do a tutorial at a later date on that. And so now... It sounds a little bit like this. Now, 
I, I, and I, I just had that conviction. Southern Baptist Convention President Fred Luter, pastor of Franklin Avenue Baptist Church, speaks with us today about revitalizing a congregation. Many and so not- and so now I've got it pretty much pre-produced, and so I want I will export it to a WAV file. And there's a reason why I export it to a WAV file. And so I would export it, save it, and then import it into this project right here. Well, excuse me. Import it into this project right here. There we go. And so as it's opening, what we've done already is we've imported the audio we needed for the opening. And then we are going to bring it in to the final project. Now, I showed you in the previous video how to make your Skype interview into two mono tracks. And then in the other audio, of, in the other video tutorial, I taught you how to do mic processing. So my mic has already been processed. I did a little bit of processing on, on Brother Fred Luter's. And now I've got the... Uh, the intro, the pre-produced intro, and then up back here, I went on and added my comments after Brother Fred concluded the interview. And so I've got all that, and then uh, I've also got the, uh, I think I've got the pre-produced close in there as well. And so what we're going to do is we're going to play this a little bit. We're going to let you hear a little bit of how the intro is produced and goes into the interview. All need to hear and learn from, and today we'll learn a little bit about what it takes to lead a church, to revitalize, and to grow again and have new life through Jesus Christ. I hope you'll join us today and learn and enjoy this experience with Southern Baptist Convention President, Pastor Fred Luter. Welcome to the Deck New Me podcast with Philip Swindle. This podcast and the website decknewme.com is dedicated to encouraging Christians and specifically pastors to grow in their personal relationships with God, with others, and to encourage them to strengthen their efforts in evangelism, worship, and service. And now, here's our host, Philip Swindle. Well, Pastor Fred Luter, I, I've known you since, gosh, the mid-90s. Yeah. And- and so I went into the interview directly from that, already produced. And then over here, as I typically close my podcast with a prayer, I asked Pastor Fred Luter to close in prayer with us. And then we concluded the interview. Doing right now, which I promise you will continue to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, brother. Thank you very much. Thanks, Philip. Appreciate you, my brother. I look forward to calling you one more time or maybe a few times. Anytime, brother. Yeah. It'll, it'll be an hour. Awesome. Well, I hope you've been encouraged by listening to Pastor Fred talk about his even struggles as a new pastor at Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. You could possibly win a copy of Tom Rainer's book, I Am a Church Member. Just go and leave a review at iTunes or at Stitcher Radio, and we'll draw a name at the end of the month. Thank you for listening to this podcast, and please go with God and be Dick Newman. Show God to the world. And so what I did <clears throat> is I added the music for the close and I recorded this con- this conclusion of the podcast and I got me to 32 minutes, which is a little bit over my goal, but it's still a great interview. And so now I go to export and I'm going to export it as a WAV file and I'm going to give it a different name because I've already recorded, I've already exported and posted that and so it says now your tracks will be mixed down to a single mono channel in the exported file that's exactly what we want and we'll talk about that in a later podcast so we're going to click ok and I'm not going to worry about any of this tagging information because it's not going to work in wave anyway and so it's exporting the file as we're speaking and we'll take a little bit of time about 20 seconds or so to export all of that and then once it's exported then the next thing I have to do is I have to take it into iTunes and translate it into an mp3 file 
And we'll talk about that in a later podcast as well. So I hope this helped you understand. Here are the steps again. We want to import the interview from Audio Hijack. And then we want to separate those files from stereo to mono. And then process the mic on the host audio. And if we need to do any on the guest audio, we need to process that as well. And then we want to import all of the audio for the opening and the closing. And then import the audio for the intro. If you have a pre-produced voiceover intro and for the closing as well. And then mix it all down and export it. I hope that helped you, and if you have any questions, please email me at philip at decknumi.com. You see the address on the screen. Email me and request what you would like to have for the next tutorial, and we'll get some of these produced throughout the week and give you hopefully one or two more this week. I hope you've enjoyed these. I hope you continue to enjoy them and that they are very beneficial to you. If they're not, tell me how I can make them better. You have a great day. Be blessed by God and continue to work toward your podcast and know that it takes commitment. And as John Lee Dumas says, focus. So focus down and get your job done and let everyone hear what it is that you have to say to the world. You have a great day. God bless.